Hey, this is Robert Stinnett. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the geekier side of Windows 7. Today I want to talk to you about a little tool they've added called the Math Input Panel. Say you're a college student, maybe you have a high school student or you're a high school student, maybe you're like me and you're going back to college after many years and you're taking a math class or a science related class you have to type up papers that have both mathematical or scientific formulas in them. With the Math Input Panel located under your Accessories uh, folder in Windows 7, gotta get that started. We'll go ahead and bring Word up. With this little guy, and this works great, let me tell you, if you have a tablet PC, this works really good. It lets you freehand your math equations and it will put them into a format you can easily insert into your favorite word processor or other program that can accept uh, uh, um, you know, object input. So let's see how this works. I have a Word document here. Let's say I'm taking a math class. Maybe I'm taking notes in the lecture hall. And I want to write down a summation the professor has just written on the board. So I write my sum, parentheses, n plus 1, in parentheses, squared. And looky there. Now, of course, realize I did this with a mouse, but imagine doing this on a tablet PC. I simply now hit insert, and right in my document, I have that mathematical formula. Now, you can see where if you're taking notes in class, maybe you're using OneNote or something like this, this would be a great tool. So you actually can get these, you know, you know, a lot of times if your handwriting is like my, mine, you know, it can be hard to tell what you're written. This way it makes it really easy. And this, especially if you're doing lab work, maybe you're getting ready to publish a paper or homework, where you have to get this stuff in so it's readable by all. And so this is a great little tool that Microsoft has put in here uh, that's really going to help uh, both uh, students, young and old, you know, make their little digital lives just a bit easier. There's all sorts of things in Windows 7 that you, I think you're really going to enjoy. If you haven't had a chance to try it, I highly encourage you to. So this is Robert Stinnett. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the geeky... <laughs> side of Windows 7.